In the T-drill, I use a combination of sprinting, shuffling, and backpedaling. You can really use any combination in general, but we just want to work on sharp cutting and just getting that mobility of being able to change directions in a quick fashion. So what we're going to have to do, Bridget's going to start out with a sprint. She's going to shuffle around the cone, touch down, sprint, touch down, shuffle back, and then backpedal in towards the center. We're going to have her do that again. Go ahead, sprinting out, shuffling. Touching down, sprinting across, touching again, shuffling, and then backpedaling in. Good. <laughs> Here the object is to get around the cone, but to be sharp and distinct with the movements. So the first few times an athlete does it, it's about learning learning the movements, but once they get it, they get the idea down and start to master it, they can be more deliberate and obviously quicker with their motions and changes of direction. In the M drill, all I did was set the cones up in an M pattern. And again, you can have the athlete do any combination of sprints, backpedaling, shuffling. Right now I'm going to have Bridget sprint. She's going to shuffle in the center, pivot and shuffle around the cone and backpedal in. She can walk back over and she's going to do the same thing again. Sprinting out, shuffling. Good, getting around that cone and backpedaling in. She's going to start right here and reverse her motion. So she's going to start with a sprint, shuffle, again, shuffle, backpedal. And let's do that one more time right on over here. And go ahead. Good, shuffle, and backpedal. For the agility exercises, you want the athlete to be pretty much giving 100% effort on each rep. So because of that, you want, them, you want to do that because you want them to be sharp and to be making good cuts and to, that in that all-out effort, they're training the way you want them to perform. So if you perform in a fatigue state where it's slow and their, their cuts are, are sloppy, then, then that's how they're going to perform is sloppy. So you want to give ample rest in between each set as necessary so that the athlete has enough time to recover and give a full 100% effort in each rep. In this drill, the, the cones are set up in a box formation. What we're going to have Christina do is sprint forward, shuffle around the cone, backpedal, and shuffle back to the start. Again, she wants to be sharp around the cone and make deliberate motions. And we'll have a reverse, start with a shuffle, sprint forward, get around that cone, good, backpedal in, good, simple as that. Again, you can use any combination of sprinting, shuffling, backpedaling. It, there's no thing set in stone, but you just want to make, the, make sure the athlete's doing deliberate, all out, 100% effort.